Firefighters claim your safety is being put at risk because of understaffing. Now the city is responding. Good afternoon. The fire department says it can't pay for overtime anymore in Albuquerque. So this weekend, some of its engines were down a crew member. Firefighters say their safety and yours is now being compromised. News 13's Cole Miller is live in the newsplex with both sides. Tim, it's an issue that has caught the attention of the city. Five engine companies down a body on Sunday. The fire chief says they managed and were still able to do their job. Today, he met with the union president to talk about a solution. The Albuquerque Fire Department is sounding the siren. And we have an attendance problem on certain days of the week. A problem costing a lot of money. And I'm limited sometimes financially on how much overtime I can continue to call. And that hit the department hard this weekend. They had to use a new policy that went into effect last month for the very first time. If we don't get our overtime expenditures under control, that staffing engines with, with three people, could be a possibility. So on Sunday, five engines were down a body each. They usually run four. Firefighters say that could put the public at risk. I think what we need to focus on is the effectiveness of that crew. Is it reduced by reducing manpower? Absolutely it is. Firefighters say because of the manpower shortage, they're rarely able to get vacation when they need it and sometimes have no choice but to call in sick. But Chief Downey says he's confident even running thin. They understand how to make risk-based decisions regardless of all the factors. Chief Downey stresses that this is not a department-wide issue. Of the roughly 700 firefighters employed by the city, he says only 25 to 30 are really causing the headache. That means 3% are in a sick leave management program. That's unacceptable. You signed up, you took an oath to join the fire department. And part of that oath was to follow all its rules and regulations and protect the public. And that means you give things up. So how does this problem get fixed? Chief Downey says they've already spent three and a half million over their budget, just in OT. The whole ordeal has opened a lot of eyes, including the city councils. You know, there's a, a budgetary problem come back to the Albuquerque City Council and let us deal with those issues. Don't put the department in jeopardy. Now, typically during a fire, two firefighters would go into the building and two would stay out. But Chief Downey says even with three people on an engine, if there is an immediate threat to life, firefighters can take action. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Cole. Now, Councilor Sanchez says he believes reducing the number of firefighters is a mistake. He wishes the department would have had a better grasp of the problem going into the budget talks. Fire leaders and the chief are hoping to come to some sort of agreement on the overtime and staffing problems soon.